of the type of mm -hmm. the 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 time uh, of the registration to the test, right? No, the type of the test. There were, I think, three three types of the test. Okay. It was general and academic and uh, something for immigration, I, uh, as I remember. Uh, the difference between the general IELTS test and the academic IELTS test is that the academic is sometimes asked by some universities if you are planning to apply to a university in Canada or in the United States or in Britain. And the kind of content of this test differs in the, uh, in the reading section uh, and writing section. Sometimes most commonly in writing section where instead of asking you a general question, they ask you a question about something academic to write about. But generally speaking, the procedure is the same. You take the test along with other, um, with other, other, uh, other students. Uh, you, um, you're not gonna have any difference in time uh, between you and them, that's for the academic test. The general test is always given to people who want to apply to a visa to, to go to UK or to Canada. And it's one of the requirements for their um, application to visa there. See, so that's the general one. Now, the, in terms of design, I think they are planning to make one completely computerized. Um, completely computerized in a way that you don't have to enter. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, give me one second. Yes, so uh, the, um, yeah. the academic one um, will ask you questions uh, that have to do with some academic context. Um, like, uh, what do you think of the education system in Iraq? Should they follow online distance learning completely or they should go back to face-to-face -face training. And they ask you this kind of question, but for the general type of IELTS, they ask you in the writing independent essay to write about like a common issue that has to do with, for example, um, <clears throat> health or environment or nature or something like that. And it's, it's just quite common, but the content is gonna be the same. Like you're gonna eventually write the same amount of vocabulary, the same amount of words, in the, um, in the essay, uh, but the theme is gonna be different and that's it. For the emigration, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you, if you should register for that one because you, you still do not have official emigration documents that you can attach this one with. <clears throat> I think, and this is my own understanding that um, if you want to apply for IELTS for emigration, um, it is just a questionnaire by them. Or you have official immigration documents that require you to take the IELTS test. That's pretty much what the difference is. However, when it comes to the skills, we still have four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. We've, uh, we've covered some of the listening um, uh, questions that uh, have been... Uh, given to you previously as a form of test that you've been steadily taking 6.5 to 7, 6.5 and 6. And then uh, we've been doing some conversation together to improve your uh, ability to narrate details completely and clearly uh, about certain topics. And we give you grading on that. Um, for writing, um, you've, uh, we haven't done enough to be honest, for writing, since I still need to give you more feedback on what you should write in the independent essay, not only uh, the, um, the graph essay where you report certain kind of things to uh, uh, the, the evaluator of IELTS in 20 minutes. Did I answer your question? Hello? Do you hear me? Ahmed, do you hear me? Hello? I can't, I, I hear you now. Do you hear me? I'm, uh, I'm losing the power, so I'm losing my internet connection. 
Okay, can you find an alternative location or um, an alternative power source? Just give me about two minutes, two minutes. Awesome, take your time. Two minutes, please. Take your time. Two minutes, Mr. Ulid. Please take your time. Should I cut the call or wait here? Uh, the power is just keeping keep going going on now. That's fine. Um, you're you're not the only one who's struggling with power. I'm turning my the home generator. setup depends on oh, my home internet setup depends on two units. Mm -hmm. Uh the major the, the main one connected to you to a UPS to a power saver. Uh while the other one <clears throat> which uh, which is which I'm connected to mm -hmm. is totally dependent on the on the power direct to the power. So uh when when the power goes off or turns off, uh, I, my laptop just needs to to be connected to the main one, which is more, um, which which has more distance than this one. Okay. Now let me know when you get ready. I'm ready. Oh oh really? Okay, sounds good. Um, give me one second here. So, Mr. Walid, uh, do you think I should register to the academic one? Um, well, probably yes and probably no. I, I would say yes, 50%. Generally speaking, you're not going to apply to a university, so the academic one is not going to be uh, suitable for your purposes. However, maybe in the future, you might consider in the upcoming years to register to one of the courses online um, on one of the universities in Canada, for example, and they ask you to take the IELTS. So why bother mm -hmm. taking the IELTS twice? You can take it, uh, you've already taken it and it's the academic one, it's the one that is required. So you can use it as a double-edged sword. Yani, silah do haddain. Yeah. But for the other purpose, which is the general purpose, this is one that is commonly used for general purposes like applying for visas. This is, I would say, more suitable to your situation right now to take the general one. Also, it's not gonna be heavily academic as the um, academic one. And it's within the context of what we've been working on so far. So I would, I would say take the general one, not the academic one. And the difference is really minor. Uh, the the uh, the the difference between the academic and the general one. Um, let me uh, let me talk to you here about. Um, here, like for example, one of the one of the key features of the um, of of the uh, I mean the difference between the general and the academic comes to uh, the kind of content of the writing that you are going to do for, um, for, for, uh, for IELTS. Like in the, um, in, the, in, in the writing section and reading test, uh, they are a little bit different because for example, in the academic, they bring you academic topics uh, that have to do with entering universities, talking with a professor at universities. Um, general one, uh, contains more basic topics or topics that are related to general interest, as they say in, um, in the IELTS um, website. So again, they're not going to talk to you about something purely academic in the general test. And I think it, it's going to be helpful to take the general one at this time, uh, considering the fact okay. that you need a higher score. So the higher score, the better score. Um, and this is what we are shooting for. This is what we want you to do is to take uh, uh, the, the general test. Now, take the general IELTS, number one. That's for sure. Now, we go to the, um, the, uh, the date of taking the IELTS. When do you plan mm -hmm. to take the IELTS? This is something I should, uh, I should know. 
Uh, I was planning to take it by June. June this, but, uh, or, or yeah. next year? This but, June or next year? This June. No, no, this, this June. If uh -huh. you think I'm ready. Okay. I would say but, you should take um, it in July or August. I'm just suggesting that. Why? Because... I truly think that you need more work on your reading section. We need to do more work on the reading section. I lost power. Oh, do you hear me? Yeah, just give me. Sure. Hello. I I can hear you, my. I can hear. Just give I me can... two minutes. Sure. Just, sure. 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 Just, sure. Just Sorry. I can definitely hear you, sir. Yeah. So, uh, as I remember, I found the uh, test on uh, 14, uh, 24th of July mm -hmm. in Baghdad. 14th of July. No, no, it's uh, 24th. Of July. Mm -hmm. And it's just for reading, writing, listening. Yeah, for reading, uh, for speaking, they are going to plan an interview either um, online. They give you the appointment for that. It was that. Uh, on 27. It was on 27. 20, 27th of July. 27th of yeah. July, correct? So after uh, two, uh, two to three days. Give me one second. What do you mean by three days, after three days? The, list, the speaking test, only the, the speaking Okay, so, so I, I can. Uh, one second, I've bookmarked the page. So, yeah. <clears throat> the test for listening, reading, writing should be on uh, 24th of July. Mm -hmm. For speaking, should be on 27th of July. So, after two, two days or uh, three days. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. This is a good time. However, there is, um, there is a higher chance that we might not get the right score from one attempt. There might be two attempts to get above seven for IELTS. Mm -hmm. should, should we keep that in mind? Um, uh, most, of my, um, most of my friends that I've met said that they've, they, had to took, they had to take the IELTS twice to uh, get the required score. Uh, the reason of which is um, either they haven't had the chance to get to know the test quite well and uh, practice the test quite well, or uh, there was this kind of feeling of uh, fear of the test and hesitation to take the test. Um, and they had to take it twice to the point that they could master the score that they, are were, uh, that they were looking for. So I want you to keep that in mind uh, so that in case we don't get the right score, we don't feel frustrated. Just keep that in mind. Now, okay. uh, go ahead and register for this test and hopefully we'll get uh, beyond seven score. I'm pretty sure oh. that we've covered enough of the speaking to be able to speak quite well in front of them, but you just need to slow down on that. Like when you're speaking, don't speak in the same speed that you do when you're using Arabic because English is your second language. Um, and second, try to not repeat the same kind of uh, vocabulary. vocabulary. Try not to repeat the same kind of vocabulary again when it comes to practicing uh, speaking in front of people. People, the, the majority of the questions you will get asked are very common and to some extent funny uh, general questions. They are not gonna be really challenging kind of questions that will uh, put you on pause to think of what to say, uh, but they're gonna be very common uh, kind of questions uh, that you will come across, uh, you will be able to uh, get a chance to have free time to speak with the person who is going to evaluate you, uh, generally generally speaking. Um, 
Okay. Now, I, I want to show you something here. Uh, I, only, I have only one question. Do you think I can pay by my visa card? Is that available here in Iraq? Uh, I have to... That's... <laughs> Just go on. That, to be honest, I am not quite quite sure about. Uh, uh, I I I I've been invited to an, to an IELTS group on Facebook, and they were they were talking about going to TBI, the Trade Bank of Iraq, and uh, deposit the money. Yeah. Mm. Give me one second. Um, let me call the person in charge. the payment is by by the visa card that i'll just i'll book now <laughs> it's much easier for me let me call the person in charge to see if she's available or not maybe she changed her phone number the customer is not available at this time she's not responding she's the the one in charge of uh, uh administering administering the test here so i'm not sure if uh <coughs> she's gonna respond back to but i sent her a message uh just uh, to check but I think know what's go... from say it again say it again please let me know once you hear from her side yeah once i get please back let me know her, once you hear... I'll definitely i'll definitely notify you um regarding what uh, she's going to respond back to me or not i tried actually to text text her multiple times on multiple occasions but um, I didn't seem to get an answer as of yet uh, regarding that part. So uh, let's hope for the best. Um, give me one second. Now, um, I'm sending you this link here, uh, Ahmed. Reading test on uh, yes. Skype, right? This is for later. This is for later. Oh. This I want you to click on this one next. That says... I'll smock test number one, general training reading module or module. I want you uh, to click on to see what it shows you. I just copied the link since my, the Chrome is not my. Default browser. browser. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just wait for that, just to connect. It's loading, uh, reading one. Now, what do you see on the screen? Blank screen. Is that good for you? <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> um, Just loading. <clears throat> I don't know why. Do you see start test or not? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just loading. So just give me once. once. Maybe because of the internet speed in, um, in your office. Uh, no, uh, I've been, I've, uh, the, I think it's active, the one with uh, uh, 60,000. Okay, so um, is it active? Like, is the screen um, black and it says IELTS mock test one? Oh, no, no, no. No, no Mr. Rolida, I'm just loading the page. So just give me. These are my crazy kids. <laughs> Do you just, hear them? Just uh, I, I'm just I'm hearing someone crying or something yeah. like that like little monsters walking around me. <laughs> uh, black, black page is loading with the, yeah, start test. Okay, so it says, I'll smock test one, right? General training reading module. Okay, click, reading on start, minutes. click on start test, but uh, the reading test takes 60 minutes, okay? Okay. I want you to stick it, to click start test. I start. I, I click that. Okay. Now the the counter uh, is gonna start on the top right side of your screen. It's gonna say fifty nine point yeah. fifty. Correct. No, it's fifty nine point forty. Well, that's because yeah, there's the difference between the clicking <laughs> point here. Yeah. Now. This is, a, this is a reading test in IELTS, and this has been given to test takers before. So it's a true authentic test. Um, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me, how do you start taking this reading test? Imagine that you're taking this test in um, the center for IELTS test. How do you start taking the test? Uh, for me, uh, I just go through the questions. 
So mm -hmm. I, so I, I have an, an overview of, of the question. So question one, one, one to eight are true and false uh, answer, uh, questions. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just go through this, the, the phrases or the questions themselves. So point number one, if you return and want to choose straight away, the receipt the shop will probably give you a refund. So I, I, I just build a picture on the on the about the questions in my mind, so I can focus on where, where to read on the on the paragraph. Okay, now I want you to answer the questions by talking to me about what you are going to answer, and there is no rush. I want you to take your time. Question number one to eight: Do the following statements? Uh, do the following statements agree or, or with the information given in reading passage one? in boxes one to eight on your answer sheet. Right, true, false, and not giving. If the statement agrees with your information, it's a true. If the statement contradicts with the information, give it false. And if there is no information on this, it's not given. So if you return unwanted shoes straight away with a receipt, the shop will probably give you a refund. If you return unwanted shoes straight away, with a receipt, the shop will probably give you a refund. True or false? True. 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 إذا رجعتها بالوقت ويا الرسيد على الأقل هذا يعني المعمول بي بالولايات المتحدة هسا نجي هذا من سؤال واحد إلى سؤال ثمانية موجود هنا أنا بالبارغراف أريد تقرأ لي البارغراف بالسرعة اللي تقرأ بيها بصورة طبيعية يعني اللي جاوب بيها بس أنت خلي بالك أنه عندك three sections هنا no? وكل أه. section يحتاج لك من عنده عشرين دقيقة فهذا الس فهذا step one step two step three or well step okay okay step two and step three هذا passage كليته اللي هو section واحد يحتاج لك فقط تحسب حسابك أنه عشرين دقيقة maximum عليه section الثاني عشرين دقيقة و section الثالث عشرين دقيقة المجموع إيش قد ستين اللي هو قسم reading okay So, لازم أقرأ هسا ال paragraph كله step one to step four. لا، إحنا الحلو بالعيلت إنه بالبداية question number one to question number eight مو شرط تلقى بال step three و four يعني تلقى بالبداية يعني اللي تعبوا ما تبي. نعم. بس step one. Go back to the shop with a proof of purchase. If you return faulty shoes at once, you have a right. To insist on a refund, it's also okay. likely that you get. I need to cut you off, but I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. It's okay. قبل أي شيء تسوي لازم تأخذ فكرة هو شنو الموضوع عن عن شنو ااا وشنو عندك معلومات عنه حتى دماغك يكون معد subconsciously يجاوب عليه. هسا إحنا الموضوع ما تنا consumer advice on buying shoes. So it is going to be about purchasing. It's going to be about shopping and marketing and consumers and consumers and consumers and buying and purchasing and selling. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have a problem with, the sho with, with shoes you've recently bought, follow this four-step plan. Okay, step number one, go back. To the shop with a proof of purchase. Now, لاحظ هنا هسا أوقف لي. واحدة من المسائل الأساسية اللي يقيسون عليها مدى كفاءتك بالقراءة. أنه ما يستخدم لك نفس المصطلح بالسؤال وبالباراجراف. تيتيه. وهذا يسموه distraction. فهنا هو receipt هو نفس proof of of purchase. أوكي فهذا خلي بالك. If you return faulty shoes at once, if you return faulty fault, shoes fault, or uh, unwanted shoes. Okay. Here, not the faulty. Of course, it's faulty. It's not the word for unwanted. But it's better. It's better. 
هذا احنا يسمونه الدلاله النصيه الدلاله النصيه م. انه النص يدلك على نفس المعنى بس خارج النص الكلمات ذني ما لهن علاقه يعني مو سنانمس مو مرادفات فقط النص يتحكم بترادفهن فبالتالي هو ده يلعب وياك يعني انا التقيت بالدكتوره اللي تصمم الاختبارات ما التوفل فقالت لي احنا يعني كانت تشرح لنا تصميم الاختبارات بماده اسمها ابلايد لينغوستيك ريسيرش كاثلين بيلي فقالت لي انه احنا نخلي اربع اسئله اللي هي مالتيبل تشويس كويشنز بس هذه يسموها ديستراكتورز مشتتات يعني مجرد انه كل سؤال بي تريك بي حيله بس انا كلمه unwanted هي نفسها فولتي بس هو خارج هذول النص القرائي لا مو سنن مو سنن <تصفيق> هنا عندنا كلمه straight away هي نفسها كلمه at once <تصفيق> تشوفها انت فاتح الويب سايت مالتك لو فاتح الزوم وتتبع وياي لا الويب سايت نفس الشيء انا هم ما فاتح البيج يعني اذا جيت يمين نفس الحال بس ما راح توفر ما راح تقدر تنطق لك على الاجابه صح عموما فهي النقطه بس اريد اوضح لك انه حتى تهتم تنتبه لها انه ماكو سؤال يسالوك ماكو سؤال يسالوك لله بالله يعني كل سؤال بي تريك فانت اولا لازم يكون عندك باك جراوند على الموضوع يعني مجرد 30 ثانيه 15 ثانيه فكر باغلب المصطلحات اللي ممكن حتجيك بهذا النوع ثانيا اساني هذا لازم اسوي له سبيد ريدنج بسرعه يعني قبل لا ابدي بالقراءه هاي الاسئله If you don't want to choose uh, with a receipt the shop will probably give you a refund your advice to accept a credit uh, notes if you are offered one the factory is responsible for replacing on what to choose um, you can ask um, you can ask any shoe shop to send shoes to the footwear testing center Shops prefer to give blah 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 the procedure of making. هذا المصطلحات عامة question nine. هذا أقضي بها دقيقة بس آخذ فكرة عنها. حتى I'm doing this with all my tests, the reading for reading and understanding. Okay, perfect. I just go, go through the the questions. No, great. Now you're you're on good hands right now. Then, now you have a right to insist on a refund. It is also likely. هسا أقرأي ولا It's also likely that you will get one if you change your mind about the shoes that take them back immediately. Mm-hmm. Is there a replacement? Uh, the, the concept about, about this phrase is a replacement if you want to replace mm-hmm. it. But if you delay or you have you've had some or, uh, some use of out of shoes, the shop may not give you all your money back. It depends on the state of the shoes and how long you've, you've had them. Uh, if you are offered a credit note, you don't have to accept it. Uh, if you accept it, you will usually not be able to exchange it for cash uh, later on. Mm-hmm. So you may left with an unknown to the credit note if you cannot find any other shoes for you from the shop. Okay. Uh, uh, this this phrase is talking about the credits. So uh, I, I know that the, the rules in the US. So uh, I'll explain. And then you have a idea. Now we're going to the shop. The shop may want, mm-hmm. may want, may want to, to send it back. back to the head of for inspection. Uh-huh. This is fair and could help to sort things out, but don't be uh, don't be put off by the by the shop which claims that it, the, the, it's the manufacturer responsibility. This isn't true. It's the shop's legal duty to put things right. Uh-huh. Uh, energy. I'll add this point. Question uh-huh. one to eight. If you as energy questions, if you return and want to choose straight straight away. With a receipt. هسا راح نعتمد على الميموري مالتك مو على القراءة. هسا راح نجي نشوف من الكمبرهنشن مالتنا. With a receipt, the shop will probably give you a refund. True, false, not given. True. Okay. You are advised to accept credit notes if you are offered one. False. Um, the fa- هسا انت ليش قلت لي false؟ لان هنا if you are offered a credit note you don't have to accept it هم ايش قال لي لك you don't have to accept it هنا you are advised فدا يستخدم كلمه advice هنا دا يستخدم كلمه offer انتبهت انتبهت عليهم ذولي هم السنانمز فما دا يستخدم لك نفس الكلمه 
فلازم تكون عندك من المسلمات انه ما راح يسالك بنفس السؤال اللي انطرح بالباسج اي The factory is responsible for replacing unwanted shoes. False. You can ask any shoe shop to send shoes to the footwear testing center. Uh, uh, not given. Okay. Shops prefer to give credit notes rather than change its shoes. No, not given. Are you sure? Just let me go back. You will not be able to exchange if you have a credit credit. If you cannot find any shops prefer to give credit. Yeah, uh, it's, <clears throat> it's a true. Okay. Me. The customer contributes to the costs of having faulty shoes tested. Not given. Or false, false. It, it may be false or not given because it's the shop responsibility. Uh, the procedure for making a legal claim is easier in Scotland. Not given. Not given. Okay. Legal advice and forms can be bought from certain shops. Legal advice? Um, not given. I, I haven't got through. I haven't read something regarding the legal advice. Okay, so you don't recall that you read something regarding legal advice here. Now look here at this section here, step number two. If you don't seem to be getting anywhere, you can get help. Free advice is available from Citizens Advice Bureau. Get the address from your telephone number or from local tra trading standards department. Again, consult mm -hmm. the telephone directory on the county, region, or borough council. All these departments have people who can advise you about faulty goods and what to do with them. So legal False. advice and forms can be brought from certain shops. False. Okay. Um, question 9 to 14. Choose the correct letter, A, B, C, or D. Now, where are they? Let's check them out. A, B, C, or D. Now, what should, what should you do first if you lose a credit card? Now, is this something that is given in the text or not yet? I think it's the, uh, the second paragraph. Okay, so moving to the second paragraph, um, where it may be here, we've no, answered. No, it's lost card. Okay. Another. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So we go here, lost cards. Uh, are you going here to plan to read the questions first or read the passage first? Uh, the correct boxes. For me, for the for the MCQs, I I go through the the passage first. Mm -hmm. Because if if I go through the the questions or the with with, the, with their answers, uh, maybe I'll, I'll I'll be distracted. I know uh, all the the MCQs are very tricky, so I can uh, so I I I'm I'm uh, I feel afraid of being uh, my mind. Uh, Let's say it, uh, it chatted, yani. Distracted. Or distracted, yeah. Mm. So I prefer going through the paragraph, then go to the go back to the questions. Well, the or I, I can I, I can go through the questions without their answers. Uh, you'll be distracted more uh, if you get lost in the paragraph because the paragraph uh, has so much data. It has so many and uh, it has so much information that some of it is unnecessary and they're just putting mm -hmm. that there for distraction. Your mission is only to answer the questions that are given to you and don't give a fucking care about the whole paragraph. So read the questions generally one time and then move to find or search for answers to each one of the questions. The first question is, 
what should, should you do? do first if you lose a credit card? Contact your insurance company, write a letter, contact the police, make a phone call. Now, all of these four options are not giving are not giving to you in the paragraph in this nice way. They're going to modify it. So you need to draw conclusions. Based on your drawing of conclusions, they will determine if you're efficient reader or not. But it's not that quite challenging, Ahmed, to be honest. Like here, question, uh, what should you do? If you lose, what should you do? Quickly. Follow this up. Uh... With a letter, uh, no, no, uh, okay, okay. it's in the first sentence. Of the <laughs> <first> <laughs> sentence. <laughs> uh, it's about losing lose. credit cards. So. Lose, and I got black missing. Yeah, so you telephone the credit card company or bank as soon as possible. Shove in on a kilometer telephone here, and if you contact your insurance company, is it the insurance? company uh, this, uh, as I as I uh, uh, as credit I, card uh, company the credit card company and then you like telephone the credit card company or bank as soon as possible bank make a phone call contact the police insurance company. insurance company yeah but is the credit card the insurance company uh I told you I I I, I don't know now for me, it's one of of, of both of, of the two. Uh, contact the insurance company or make a phone call. But no. for for whom? شنو اللي راح يصير أول شيء؟ أنت أنت بهني هنا هما يعني إيش داي يدورون وياك؟ What should you do first? Telephone. Okay. And then كلمة do معناها الفعل الأكشن. أولا make a phone call who are doing something. Yeah. Uh, and talking to the company, the insurance company, he is doing something. But they are going to sequence my own. So I am shocked that the answer is right. He make a phone call. He make a phone call. I am in. Contact. I can not get any. Contact him. Let him get the introduction at the beginning. So it is possible he wants to get you. ممكن انه ده هي هاي حيله حتى يوهمك انه هي هاي الخيار الصح لانه موجود اول واحد قدامك مو بالشرط لانه اول واحد يعني هو الصح فميك ا فون كول ممكن ممكن انا اطلع خطا خلينا نشوف اوكي اوكي سو وي تشوز ذا ميك ا فون كول اور نو وي تشوز ميك ميك ا فون كول هذا راح تجاوبه كليته بالنهايه حتى نطلع بالنتيجه حتى نشوف شنو النتيجه مالتك كريدت كارد شيلد از هسه انت بدك تباوع بالجهاز مالتك لو وياي بالزوم لا لا وياك وياك اه اوكي ناو كريدت كارد شيلد از هنا انا من نرجع شنو كريدت كارد شيلد هنا لازم نشوف شنو كريدت كارد شيلد شوف كريدت كارد شيلد بيكوز البلاستيك ماني از ناو سو كومن سنترال ريجستريشن سكيمز سوتش از كريدت كارد شيلد سنترال ريجستريشن سكيمز فهي ان انشورنس كومباني وذ ديلز وذ كريدت كارد ا سيستم for registered people, an emergency oh, telephone, an agency for finding lost or stolen card. Such as credit card exists at the and the schemes you including cash card. You file details. I'm sure people registering. Registering. People's registration. Okay, yeah. registering, registering, registration. And on a scheme, he is not a company. It's not a telephone service. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not an agency because they would say it's an agency. For probably it's a system. When contacted the card protection system, <laughs> company informed the uh, when contacted. The crowd protection company uh, will. Uh, okay, I'm. I'm just losing the the last one. But just let me look for for something. Uh, <clears throat> now, when contacted the credit card system, choose under the scheme you file details 
of your card, including cash cards and account cards issued by For me, I've gone through this paragraph. For me, the answer should be give details about the loss of the card to shops. Because uh, by the end, your responsibility for any program by the end and the scheme staff may ensure that the companies whose cards you have. They notified uh, it's on the last uh, on the last line of the mm -hmm. paragraph. Tamam. Um, so ensure that the lost cards are replaced. Give details about the lost the loss of card to shops, or inform the police about the loss of the card, or get in touch with the relevant credit card companies. Uh, just one second, sir. All the companies whose cards you had are notified. Uh, second one. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the second one. Get in touch with the relevant credit card companies. Relevant. Okay. Now, if not the the مقطع الأخير كاتب لك. Staff makes sure that all companies whose cards had been notified. So when contacted, the card protection system will. Now it's not you, it's the card protection system. The card, card protection, protection system. Is not a staff. Card protection uh. system. Make sure that all the companies whose cards you had are notified. Forbidden Michael met notified in Nanish Katblik. Um give details about the loss of the card to shops. I think it's the second one, yeah. You're pointing on. So it's get in touch with the relevant credit, credit card, card company. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. can stop the credit card. Uh let's say in home actor. يعني ما راح يقدرون يبلغون الشوبس كلهم انه هذا الكريدت كارد انه ستولن صح؟ اوكي سو جيف ديتيلز اباوت ذا لوس اوف ذا كارد تو شوبس اور جيت ان تاتش وذ ذا ريليفنت كريدت كارد كومبانيز اي وونت يو تو ديتيرمين ويتش وان اي ثينك اتس ذا تشوزن وان Get in touch with the relevant credit card, credit card so company. So here it says, make sure that all the companies whose cards you had are notified. So simply, they notify the cards, uh, the um, the companies. Now, what are these companies? Are they shops, uh, or are they companies? And do they get in touch okay. with relevant card? Companies or give details about the loss of the card to shops. I think it's the credit card companies. If you say if you say credit card companies get in touch, they are not going to give them details, but they just get in touch with them. Yeah, it was But so when I never make sure that all the companies get notified. Yeah, they notified. Ali Shino. Ali lost my credit. If they are notified, they give details. And I notify you, I give details to you. Mumkin Hadi. Mumkin. For then Hakika and you mama the soal cabal. For Mumkin Hadi Kun here, Ijaba Sah. Yanit Tahlina Luga Li de Stahdimuhana. El Owal de Gula get in touch. But still get in touch Muyani and Nuhigulun Makushina of Hadi Soal. El Alaka be lost cards. Loss of cards. ولا هم الكمpanies هم الpolis ولا هم راح يسووا لك replacement للcards إذا لا أي ولا B ولا C يبقى B و D B get in touch with the relevant credit card companies يعني تواصلون يوم بس ما ينطونهم notification and notification B alarm يعني okay or give details about the loss of the cards يعني فأنا ممكن أرجع هاي النقطة هي الخيار الصح بهذه الحالة. Now, uh, راح أتركك عد هاي النقطة تكمل لنا هذا السكشن اللي هو سكشن 1, 2, 3. Okay. Uh, 
ومن تكمله ما اعرف اذا عندك مجال اليوم مو شرط هسه تبدي به بس احنا الهدف من الميتنج مالتنا اليوم انه احنا بدينا بالريدنج سكشن نتدرب على الريدنج سكشن نتدرب على السكيلز اللي تمكننا من القراءه للريدنج سكشن راح ادز لك شويه تيبس اند فيدباك على هذه التريكس بس اهم نقطه يعني احنا لازم ننتبه لها مرات السؤال الحل يعني الحل الصح هو أغ... يعني ابعد واحد من الاوبشنز اللي موجوده يعني اللي اصلا مو بالبال مالتك فيكون صح يتلاعبون بالصياغه اللغويه ويركز هسه مثل هذا كلمه دو اللي شفتها قبل شويه يعني هذا الدو يعني هو ميكس ذا ديفرنس ان ترمز اوف لايك ويتش وان از كوركت اند ويتش وان از انكوركت احنا خلينا نجرب هنا أنا بس حتى اتاكد آه، نروح على هنا دا تشوف الحلول مالتنا ايه شفت هسه الدي والبي اوكي نسوي هنا سبمشن هذا الحل الثاني هم تين مي وان سكند هنا هنا اعتقد لانه تناسب سبمشن اوكي اذا هذا ينكتب بي بس حتى اتاكد انه ينكتب بي فمن تكملهم ذول الثلاثه يعني ال you see them i think right now people speak language in new zealand talking a point انت وياي بالبيج لو بال لا بالبيج مالتك بس دا افحص انه الويب سايت شغال فانكشنال لان مرات اكو بعض من عندهم يضرب ما ما ينطيك الخيار الصح فهنا من تدوس لسبمت يعني انت من تكمل السكشن روح للسكشن اثنين سكشن ثلاثه واكو أوكي. بعض الاوبشنز موجوده يعني اما جاوبها مباشره وبعض من عندها تضطر تكتب من تدوس للسبمت راح تطلع لك الريزولت مالتك اللي هي نفس تعرف الشيت مال الانسر شيت الانسر مالتنا يطلع لك الترو والفولس يطلع لك الباند سكور ايش قد فهذه بس اطبعها ودز لي اياها حتى اشوف الاسئله اي نوع من الاسئله انت دا تواجه به مشكله تحديدا لان كل أوكي. واحد من هذول الاسئله ستايله وتدريبه محدد اليوم اليوم احنا ناقشنا السكشن الاول وشوف شلون يتلاعبون باللغه بالسينونيمز والانتونيمز حتى يشتتك حتى تجاوب فعلى الاقل احنا ممكن فد 5% تعلمنا فد فكره من الريدنج حتى واحد ليش يظل يفكر هو هذا الريدنج شلون وشلون راح اجاوبه وكذا هسه تصير عندك فكره شويه اوضح واحد من تروح تاخذ الاختبار هو نفس الفكره اوكي دار اوكي اي ثينك اي دوت باي ذا ايفنينج شور اني تايم يو وونت توداي اتمنى الدرس يعني كان شويه مفيد لك لانه احنا انا افضل اشتغل <تصفيق> يعني هذا سينكرونس يعني متزامن وياك حتى نمر بالماده ونشوف شنو اللي التريكس اللي موجوده حتى نناقشها ون باي ون شوف تمام uh, شكرا احمد وانس يو فينيش ات تو مي اوكي اي ويل تراي تو بوك 